Jeff Williams here with AskJeffWilliams.com. Today I'm going to show you what it takes to drive a drift, to timber it up, shore it properly, and throw in some vent pipe. All that and a whole lot more coming up. Excellent! Now if you're already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. And if you're not subscribed, I want you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon and that way you can be notified when we make future videos so you can go out and dig your own mine. Excellent! Now for those of you out there that have been following my channel, you know that we've been digging a lot of drift mines. And for the rest of you that don't know, we dig drift mines for gold. And that's what we're going to be doing today and I'm going to show you the proper way to shore it up. Alright, as you can see we've driven that drift another 15 feet. The only problem is there's not enough oxygen in the working phase, so we got to drive the air pipe along with it. I'm going to show you how to do that. We've got little alcoves dug out there in the side wall for the lights to be recessed inward. That way they won't get caught up on anything. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? <laughs> Better. So come on, let's go. All right, Christopher, Max, and Joanne, this one's for you. We got two sets put in. They're held in place with the collar brace. Now we got our posts set at about five degrees in. We got our caps on with our spreaders. The only thing that's missing now is the lagging. The lagging goes behind the posts and the cap. And that way when the dirt tries to come in, it's forced up against there. Now when we put these posts in, we dug down an additional foot and a half. That way they're sitting on solid caliche. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is trim out some of the back and the ribs so we have enough room to put the lagging in. So you know what that means, huh? That means it's digging time, boy. So you know what I'm gonna say, you, you better, so come on, let's go. All right, now we gotta go get the lagging. Ugh. I got my lagging down here. I got the two by eights for the back and then the two by twelves for the ribs. And they're already pre-cut. So all I have to do is slide them in place, wedge them, and if I have to do any cribbing, then I can crib too. But I don't think I'm gonna have to do any cribbing. I'm going to tell you right now, son of Jim, putting lagging in is hard, hard work. I tell you what, I'd rather be mucking all day than to put this stuff in because the entire shape of the drift has to conform to the shape of these sets and the lagging. And you always get one rock that don't want to help out. So always the last one that don't want to go in. Don't look too bad. In there pretty good, solid. All right, let's do the side lagging. I gotta do is backfill this and this is solid. I mean look at that, that's not going nowhere. The sets are solid, everything's wedged in. I might not have to use wedges and blocks after all. And then we do the other side, Sunday Jim. See all this? This has all got to come out. That way the lagging sits up against it flush. Like I said, putting lagging in is tough because the outsides of the ribs and the back got to conform to a perfect square. And you know how much fun that is.
Last one, son of Jim. I'm glad too, because I'm exhausted. I'll tell you what, those old timers were tough as nails. Next time you're in a mine, son of Jim, you think about all the labor that goes into making these sets and putting them in. And then when you see miles of these things underground, then you'll have an appreciation for just how tough it was. All right, all I gotta do is backfill it, it's good. All right, son of Jim, now we gotta muck this out. Everything that we just dug out, we gotta muck out. Uh, get my work card over here. Oh, you want to be a gold miner, do you? Let this be a lesson to you. This is how much muck I had to muck out just to get the lagging in. You gotta move a lot of material just to get them in. How's that for fun, son of Jim? All right, let's get this out of here. Now, a lot of you out there might be asking yourself, Jeff, why the heck are you digging this tunnel? Well, actually, it's a drift mine, son of Jim. And we're digging this mine for our premium patron. And this drift mine is loaded with gold. And all the gold that comes out of here goes directly to them. And we found some really good river channels down here that we punched into and found some big nuggets, three quarter ounces. The three quarter ounces are coming from down there. And there's also a cave system down there that we think ties in with the legendary Cocoa Weave Caverns. Now, if you'd like some gold from this mine, all you gotta do is click the link at the end of the video, it looks like that. Click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you're in like Flynn. Now for all my premium patrons out there, don't worry, we're exploring that cave system. And if there's any gold down in the bottom of that cave system, you'll be getting that gold too. And I think there's water at the bottom of it. I can hear it flowing down there. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams. And who? You better know who. Say, do you want to be a gold miner? Well, you better think twice, because digging holes in the ground, Sonny Jim, ain't all sugar and spice. Take care, everybody.